Regenerative agriculture is paving the way in the fight against climate change. Instead of destroying and polluting the ecosystem, as modern farming methods do, it aids in restoring the soil and ecology. To improve the planet, regenerative agriculture uses cover crops. But what exactly are cover crops, and how can they benefit the environment? If you want to learn more about cover crops and regenerative agriculture, watch the video until the end. What do cover crops mean? Instead of leaving the soil bare after harvesting the primary crop, regenerative farmers frequently plant cover crops. Typically, cover crops include grasses and grains like rye, barley, and brassicas or legumes like alfalfa and clover. The earth is shielded from erosion by the plants that cover it from wind, rain, and snow. Also referred to as green manure, cover crops can increase the soil's fertility. What role do cover crops play in regenerative agriculture? Today's agriculture degrades the land over time by using intensive tilling, pesticides, and fertilizers. Contrarily, regenerative agriculture coexists peacefully with the environment. Instead of using chemical fertilizers, it uses no-till techniques and cover crops to increase soil quality. We'll also examine the four key ways that cover crops support regenerative agriculture. Prevent soil erosion. The whole erosive force of rains and runoff water is exposed on bare soil. The vegetative canopy helps to maintain the soil and minimize drainage. Raindrops are intercepted by the cover crop, which lessens the rain's erosive force. Plants' roots, like grass, bind soil particles together to prevent soil from eroding. Additionally, vegetation can assist in minimizing or deflecting wind, catching windborne sediment, and keeping soils moist reducing the likelihood of erosion brought on by the wind. Improve fertility and quality of the soil. Leguminous cover crops provide nitrogen from the atmosphere, whereas cover crops boost nutrient retention and cycling to increase soil fertility. If the leftover from a cover crop is added to the soil, it is referred to as a green manure crop. In this case, crops that generate a lot of herbage and have the right balance of nutrients should be chosen. Row crop producers frequently utilize cover crops for strip tillage to benefit from surface residues which are more advantageous over time. Specific types of cover crops can be used to supplement and support nutrient deficiencies in the soil. It's recommended to try a mix of cover crops. Pest and Weed Control Cover crops can reduce weed and pest infestations if they are planted and harvested at the correct times. In addition, Cover crops decrease the demand for agricultural herbicides by decreasing weeds and insects. Weeds are repressed because cover crop mulches obstruct sunlight, which is necessary for germinating seeds. While cover crop mulches control weeds and minimize soil pathogens, flowering cover crops draw beneficial insects. The expense of using pesticides and the amount of chemical exposure on crops are reduced since cover crop systems help to reduce pests. Biodiversity even though they are primarily non-income producing crops, cover crops offer long-term advantages, including biodiversity. Farms benefit from more diversity from contributions across time, size, or place. In addition to improving other plants' ability to absorb nutrients, cover crops release carbon and nitrogen into the soil, enhancing soil health and boosting plant diversity. Water infiltration. An increase in infiltration rates is made possible by the pores that each cover crop's root creates in the soil. Through evapotranspiration, cover crops discharge an excessive amount of water. The mulch-like effect of cover crops improves water infiltration and aids in soil moisture retention during dry spells. With their movement through the soil, earthworms, common in cover crops, increase water infiltration and convert plant detritus. Because residue from cover crops can stay on the ground where earthworms prefer to feed, earthworm populations are supported. Moisture conservation aids in the improvement of overall soil health. Improved water penetration makes it possible to use water more effectively, which results in more consistent crop yields. Harvesting or grazing. Setting up cover crops for animal feed offers two benefits, conservation and financial gain from meat, milk, and manure. Grazing can occur during fall, winter, or spring, depending on the cover crop. For fall or early winter feeding, fast-growing plants like oats, rye, or brassica should be used. However, if in-spring grazing is required, rye or other overwintering species shouldn't be overgrazed in the fall due to poor overwinter plant survival. Winter-resistant plants like rye, triticale, barley, or wheat are suitable for spring grazing. Some varieties of cover crops used to make hay may need to be able to dry out in the spring. Brassica species usually are not suitable for this. For optimal forage quality and water preservation, the grass cover crop should be cut by boot stage before being used as feed. 
While harvesting can remove nutrients, it still has some positive effects on the health of the soil. Grazing helps maintain some of the nutrients in the field. Cover cropping and art. It's time to think about using cover crops. It's a gratifying technique to give your plants natural fertilizers and nutrients, disease and pest control, and enhance water retention that is both artful and scientific. It is a combination of art and science. This effective method of soil management benefits not only large-scale farmers, green manure is also helpful in backyard gardens and small garden plots. This means that if you choose to cover crops well, you may improve both the health of your garden and the environment. It makes sense for a healthier environment and garden. Regenerative agriculture and cover crops go hand in hand. Regenerative agriculture would be more practical with cover crops. Cover crops generally increase the fertility and quality of the soil naturally, resulting in higher yields and less soil erosion. Make sure to let us know your thoughts down below and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.